I knew that incompetent Golnag would be of no use. Yeah, exactly as I said. All I have to say is that you had better not screw this one up, or else. Elk and Liza have grown stronger than I thought. They are my final hope. Now I must prepare for pro the, the pro the ass plan. This guy reminds me of Shido from Persona 5. I don't know why. Yo, we're, we're seeing Ark and his crew. That's great. I don't like this. It's too quiet. But if they're waiting to ambush us, ambush or not, we must stop them. They can't be allowed to pervert the minds of those in Proteas. I don't care if there are one or a thousand of them in there. I shall slice each and every one to ribbons. Oh, classic Tosh. Yo, where is Iga and Gogen? I guess Chungara, because Chungara also matters. Ah, Ark has come to save the- save it- have, has come at last to save the day. Unfortunately, our gift has already been installed. In a matter of hours, the mind control device within it will be activated. Then all of Proteas will join the experiment, whether they choose to or not. The only business remaining here is to dispose of you. Are they going to let me play as Ark in the group? I mean, that wouldn't be surprising. Ah, zombies! This threat will not stand. The weak always join together in their lust for power. Wait, these are not ordinary zombies. Ah, so our little hero is perceptive too. You're correct, each and every one of these is a noble failure. In sacrificing their humanity, their souls, they have given us knowledge. What? Yes, the knowledge that will fuel Andel's glorious plan to success. Did you say Andel? Yes, Andel's the smartest of the four great generals. Yeah, he's also the one who was very obviously not bad in the first game. And by very obviously, I mean it was, like, incredibly obvious. You remember him, don't you? I knew he was from Romalia, but a great general? It can't be. Ah, uh, but it is. But you cannot hope to comprehend the brilliance of his plan. Fortunately, since you'll soon be dead, you don't have to try. Oh, hey, we're gonna- oh! Oh, because I transferred the progress, they're the same levels. Well, Poco and Tosh are gonna be super weak. It is really cool. It's gonna suck, though, because Poco and Tosh are low level. I'm kind of hoping Ark is just overpowered. Ow. So would they just be level 1 if you don't transfer progress? I'm not sure how that works. Oh, I got claw shoes. Nice. Oh, we even got all the skills. Okay. I think that reduces defense. I think that has to be used from a spot away. Try this one. Oh, that was such a good animation. Don't I have something to heal? I think I do. Healing heart, yeah. Oh, dude, the animations of these characters is so much better than the first game. Actually, I should have had the arc come down here. Oh, we got burn ground. Burn ground's back. They even updated the um, voice track. I love it. It's kind of cool. We get to play as Ark 2, which is neat. He counted. Oh, well, he's dead. I think because I transferred my progress, Ark is going to be overpowered for this. On the bright side, it's a chance for Tosh and Poco to level up a bit. Oh, nice counter. Dude, that blood. Nice dodge. Nice. I leveled up my armor. Nice. Dude, I love the effect of Tosh attacking. 
That blood looks so real. I, I, I would assume it's blood. You're already healed, so I think I want to. What's that other move I had? Yeah, Lion Drum's the one that hits in a row. Let's try that out. I gotta use it right here. Uh, let's Gale Flash. Oh, but they don't have the range. Like, in the in the first game, you had to level up the skills. You also have a new Tornado move. Interesting, interesting. Just go with Meteor Shower. Countered. I really like this. If they have like a whole like, I'm down for this. If they have like, you know, you switch between Elk and Ark, that'd be kind of cool. This is happening. I'm doing so much damage even with Tosh. Game's probably not bad. It's because I transferred levels, but still. Game probably expects them to be like lower level than this. I'm all here for it. They're not like a breeze, which is a good thing. We're just gonna normal attack here. It'll knock you down. And yeah, they're, they're like, oh, knocked down. Oh, you got up though. I forgot they can get up. We, we, we don't want that. You should die. Yeah, you're dead. Lion drum right here. On the bright side, Poco's getting good level ups here. That's really what I want. I want Tosh and Poco to get the catch up. I don't want this game to be... I don't want this game to be, uh, Ark again. Just like it was in the first game. Ow! Calm down. So as long as Tosh and Poco, and I'm assuming you get to play as Iga and, um, what's it called? Iga, um, Iga, Gogan, and... Who's the other person? Chungara? Okuru is probably not going to count because she's separated from them right now. I mean, she might be playable, but she might not be right now, at least. Because she's not even with Ark. But, um, it is good because the others get to catch up. Are they as strong when you finish the first game? Yes, because I transferred data. If you don't, I don't know how it works if you don't transfer data. I transferred data from the first game, so yeah. Ark was level 60 when I finished. Osh was level... He was, like, level 29. Poco was, like, level 18. You don't have to transfer data, though, so they're not always going to be these levels. These are just the levels I had at the end of my playthrough. I mean, now they leveled up a bit, so they're stronger. Dude, the effect of Tosh attacking is really cool. Oh, I can still jump because, uh, you know, jump. That's really cool. I hope we get more of that. More playing as these guys would be really neat. Damn, there's nothing here. You came up empty, too. What's troubling you, Ark? This machine. It seems to be some kind of receiver. Ha ha ha. All human beings and all creatures in the world. We'll have to kneel before us. He's still alive. It's too late. The plan's already started. Die already. I told you that you can never understand, Undel. Stupid worms, you should realize your helplessness. Ha <laughs> He was taunting us. Yeah, he said the plan had begun. That correlates with what he said before the battle. Wait, what's this? It looks like a doll or something. Really? Ow! Figure appears to be that of a woman. It's doll from Ease 9! Wait, that's not a doll. It has to be the statue of the goddess of Proteus. Wait, isn't there a ceremony to unveil it officially? Oh, I don't like this. I would bet that they intend to unfold their terrible plan now. 
and we have no choice. We have to stop them by whatever means necessary. We need to get the Proteas and fast. Let's go. Wait for me. Oh, we're going to have Elk and Ark meet. That's going to be so good. They probably have a set level if they, um... They probably have a set level. Yeah, that I would assume so. Probably they have a set level or you transfer and they have whatever levels they were. Some level difference? Well, blame Arc the Lab 1's terrible level balancing for that. The game heavily favored Arc and it made it nigh impossible to keep everyone balanced without going out of my way to grind. Should I play Arc the Lab 1 first? Probably. I mean, if you're going. You should because of this. If you're getting the collection, the collection's like very hard to find. If you're getting like the official, I have a physical edition of the collection. It has all three games bundled together. All three games are bundled together in Art the Lab 1, 2, and 3. So I would recommend playing the first one first because they come bundled as a collection. The way they were released is in North America, we never got them separately. We only got them as a collection. So you're going to have the first game anyway. So I would play Arc the Lab 1 for that reason. However, be aware that Arc the Lab 1's level curve is stupid. It like requires you to go out of your way to grind and I hate it. So going through the game smoothly is really difficult. Unless you just want to play the game with Arc, which is what I did. I just pushed through with Arc, who is like easily the best party member. And the game does a horrible job of balancing all of them. Especially Kukuru. Kukuru sucks. She's supposed to be the healer. She's actually garbage. The others... I could probably give a chance, but like, Kukuru is actually bad. From a party member standpoint. Or if you emulate them, I'm not sure how emulating would work, but emulating would probably work the same. You would have the collection because... Um, because they don't have a separate edition for the North America release. The North American release only has the collection, so you might as well play Arc the Lab 1 first. It's a quick game, though. You can finish the game in like 7 to 10, 7 to 10 hours, give or take. It's really short. Or, if you just want to go straight to Arc the Lad 2, you can just like look up like a summary of what happens in the first game. The only thing you need to know in the first game is like the very end. Uh, am I going to Ceremony? I don't think I've ever been here. Let's just go here. Or just watch my playthrough. I have a playthrough of Arc the Lab 1. Just go watch that on YouTube. My, my Art the Lab 1 playthrough, it's 26 parts. It's on YouTube, so you can just watch that if you want. If you don't have a ticket, you can't attend the ceremony. Understandable. But, like, Art the Lab 1 is, like, the only reason you should play this game before the second one is because the characters from the first game are going to be in it. So, you, you know, having that sense of, having that sense of familiarity is good. It's not so much like Cold Steel 1 and 2. Cold Steel 1 and 2, you definitely have to play the first one before the second. But, like, it's a little more forgiving with Arc Lab 1 and 2, but I'd still recommend playing the first one just because you know the characters, like Arc and them. Plus, it's really short. I feel like because it's short, you should just play the first one. Like, you might as well. Plus, it's going to make going back to Arc Lab 1 super difficult if you play the second one first. Wow, this town is huge. Of course, it's the capital of Aldia. And this is my apartment. This music is really good. This room? Yes. May I come in? Yeah. A girl going into Elk's room. It's a big day. This is nice. Small, but nice. I have a small airship hidden nearby as well. The airship used to be shoes. Or is it kept? The hill to the west of Proteos. So, what should we do now? We better try to rescue Shantae. Right, the statue is in the new, is in the new event square. When I left, the square was still under construction. It's just to the south of town. If it's not done now, it soon will be. We should probably gather information around town. Doggo. Oops, I totally forgot about the pooch. Oh, it's uh, Barnes's dog. 
What are we gonna do with it? He could stay here for now. It's safe and warm. Besides, my landlady is a gem. I'm sure she'll watch it. Sounds like a plan. Elk, we should name the dog. How about Marl? Marl? Putting the E after that, it's Chrono Trigger. Can I name the dog? Well, how about Standy? C can I name it? Uh, the game's not gonna let me name it. Screw you, game. Best? Alright, well, I guess I gotta choose. Standy is stupid. Why would you name the dog Standy? Bess is also stupid. I I'd rather go with, uh... Oh, good! How about Chitaro? Ugh. Can I name the dog? Great, that settles it. Screw you, Arcolette 2 is just the worst game ever. Didn't even let me type in the name for the dog. He's Chitaro from now on. Okay. Dude, I love how mad Liza got when we didn't want the name she wanted. Good, Chitaro. Come on, game. This game is actually trash. Don't buy it. It um didn't let me name the dog manually. I had to go with Elk's suggestion because I kept refusing Liza's. I was going to probably name it Angelo after FF8 because it's a dog. It looks more like Angelo than Pondit does. What's up, dudes? She's in a bad mood. Should I make her laugh? Yeah. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Nice try, but I'm not really in the mood. All right, loser. I want to draw a picture of her smile, but she's not really cooperating. Ah. It's her mood. All right, we're going to gather information, otherwise known as do some NPC stuff. Huh, nobody's here. Weird, weird. Oh, hi, Elk. Long time no see. You've been a stranger around here lately. This is Pro DS Capital of all the, uh... Better find another job. Hunting's too dangerous, you know. Yeah, I I'm not doing as you say. Hello, Elk. Long time no see. Did you know the Gal that Galarno brought the statue of the goddess of Aldia? To Aldia. What? You don't know Galarno? He's the most powerful man in the town. The statue of the goddess was a gift from Romalia. That's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. But I still don't trust those Romalian bastards. I wish I could think of a good reason to refuse the statue. I think this is unveiling. Ceremony is shaping up nicely. I'm glad I decided to attend it. Decided? Who is running your store then? I have my wife taking care of it. Again, you treat that woman worse than a dog. I won't be surprised if she leaves you high and dry someday. I hope she doesn't. Should be a hunter's guild here, I think. Oh no, this is the, the blacksmith. Welcome to Proteus Smith Shop. For a small fee, we can process your weapons, armor, and items here. In any cases, I also determine the end of the effect. Oh, is this how you repair weapons? Judge? Item. Raising... What? What on earth? I'm so confused. This is something I really hate about, like, older PS1 games. When they... This game was made in, like, 1996? 97? This was made in like 98. I don't know when this was made. Arclab 1 was made in 95. This was made a little after Arclab 1. I hate when games like this don't have any tutorials. I know they're older, but still. Grandia had the hint system, which at every single save point you can read a hint about the game, which is something. It's not a tutorial, but it's still acted as one. So, like, this, I don't even know what this is about. What does this do? Let me try on the spear. Gain the level. Oh, this is how you, you can, like, level up stuff. Okay, I don't want to use too much money on that. Let's judge item. Weird. Alright, that's fine. 